late in the game against the Columbus Blue Jackets back in the first half of the season. We'll see if Andre Svechnikov can get back on the board. 17 goals this year. And here we go. Jordan Stahl does what he does, wins the opening faceoff. Carolina trying to get this puck into the Blue Jacket zone. Good work there by Sean Corrali. Carolina, unfazed, won't move it in. Special coaches, he scores! Welcome back! That's the way to feel better. Carolina, up 1-0. 17 seconds into this one. Andre Svechnikov. Call the doctor because this is just what the doctor ordered. Onside. Stahl drives the net, which creates the shooting lane. Nice job from Shea to get that puck right up in the neutral zone. And he wires it by Subban on the far side, the blocker side. Deceptive with his eyes. You can tell he's in that angle even though you can't see him. You can't hear. He's looking to stall. Subban had to see that. What a shot. Now for Andre Svechnikov, there's goal number 18. Back to the point, kept in by Zach Wierenski. Lorensky is one assist away from tying the Blue Jackets record. As that shot is whistled wide by Lorensky. Martinuk behind the net stall, lets it go for Orlov. Back to Martinuk. Hand it to Svechnikov. Tight turn for Svechnikov. He'll send it out of the front. Subban's ready, then another nice stick there by Svechnikov. Face off. So Kane's auto wins it cleanly back to Orlov. By Chatfield. Chatfield tees it up safe. You get rebound up front. Jarvis and Subban gets across. All Carolina. It's a 1 0 lead. Seth Jar Jarvis had 2 0 on his stick, but Subban got across. And Subban can't slow this one down. Because Netsoff comes up with a play. Looking to center that. He does put it out in front, but Karali was there to intercept. Now Natchez tries to come up with a turnover. We'll get some help from his Netsoff. Seeks comfort behind his net. His long pass is deflected out at center ice a little too far. And the Canes can turn this one. Stall. He's got Martinuk jumping with him. Drop back. Svechnikov looking for Martinuk. A little too fast on the pass there. But Pesci with a shot out in front. Rebound is there. Svechnikov to it. But thrown to the boards. What an indirect from Svechnikov in his own end to create that chance. Playing attempt kept in by Svechnikov. Now Martinuk with it. Back to Svechnikov looking to center. Andre Svechnikov with it. Gets it to Martinuk. His drive stopped by Malcolm Subban. And this one will trickle out of the zone, but right back in, Svechnikov. He'll get it to Stahl. Stahl waiting. Now he'll turn with that frame. Play it off the boards. Pesci. Pesci's drive. That's deflected out in front by Martinuk. He'll play the puck to himself off the end boards. Shea to Pesci. Back to Brady Shea. They'll work this around. From those heavy shifts that this line can give. Now Stahl, Martinuk out in front, Stahl, Svechnikov, and Pesci, great little try out in front there by Stahl and Pesci. And now there's another teed up shot by Svechnikov, Subban gets a piece. Same location as his goal, that heavy one-timer from Andre. That's kept in again by Stahl. Shea drives the net, sends it across, shot right out by Pesci, and Subban gets across. Gets quickly now, Chatfield, transition good, pass for Nason. Mason stops. He'll drop. Leave it right there. Quick snapshot put right on by Natchez. Hearing what a pure goal scorer thinks about. And boy, did he ever locate. What a goal. Well, from your point of view, as a goalie, like, what's the thought there? Is now here's a chance for Columbus coming in. Dan for And that clicks. Crunching the ice. I'm sure that's the pre scout because the last couple of teams have done it against Carolina and Dan Forth. I, I, Anderson would say, yeah, he actually got well above the paint, but then really couldn't match the movement. He almost overdrifted back to create it. He'll get it to Tara Vinen. Back up for Burns. Aho wanted it. Burns will get it back to Tara Vinen. Tara Vinen will turn. Tight turn for Tara Vinen. Gets it to Gensel. To oh, they score! Sebastian Ajo, red hot. What a pass from Jake Gensel on the bumper. Watch him drift back. Takes it off his skate seamlessly to his tape. And puts it right in the wheelhouse for Ajo in an offside finishing position. And Ajo looked like he knew 
He didn't have to get all of it. He just had to get underneath it and get it upstairs. What a lean from Aho to make sure he gets that necessary elevation. Barlamov was excellent against Nashville. He's nets off with it, trying to find Natchez. We scooped up and skated away by Severson. Centering a 10 shot, put right on. Save made by Anderson. Provide a little pressure there on Gabranson, but it's going to be Sillinger. Drop this one off, and a long drive by Texier is caught and hung on to by Anderson. As play resumes, Columbus looking to get a little traction going here in the Kane zone. Good Branson with it. He'll find Sillinger. He'll pull away from Pesci. He'll ring the post. Foss watching Blankenberg. Hand it off for Corrali. John Corrali's first game played since March 12th. Now a low drive put right on by Beauty and a save made. Final 80 seconds of this opening period. Slavin will get it to Ajo. He'll tee it up, but Subban sees it. He'll catch it and hang on. Looking out front for a redirect from Martin. He'll find Svechnikov. He opened this game 17 seconds in with a goal. And now Burns flings one. And they double down with a power play goal from Sebastian Ajo. That's how we have a 2-0 lead. In the final regulation home game this season for the Hurricanes. Like it off to Branson before it can get in deep, and Columbus moving it around. Now here comes a steal. Opportunity. It's Drury right in. Subban with the save, but Jack Drury going to draw a power play. Left behind the net. Good work there by Svechnikov to get it to Kuznetsov. Now Shea worked across. Natchez Kuznetsov looking for a deflection. Subban gets across on both Svechnikov and Nason. It's a power ball power play. Pretty simple when you say it that way. As Burns can't win the draw, will take it. He'll hand it for Ajo. That hits a crossbar. Terabani tries to get to it. But I like the looks that the power play has got. Let's listen in. At your first group, willing to establish the shot. Second group. No angle right now. Now there's a chance. Hammered right on by Svechnikov. Two man to save. Rebound was spit out, and Columbus will get to it. And they're three across. Texier, they'll drop it for Wierenski, right across. Anderson has to make the save shorthanded. Three on the first group, then Natchez and company on the second one. And this one. Columbus gets a free play here. Stretch pass, working itself up for Malatesta. Malatesta hanging on. Cycling, looking for some room. His shot, that clicks off the post. Take this D zone draw. That was an avoidable icing here late in the period, but you can see Freddie never saw it. Tonight has been outstanding as we went from late afternoon into early evening, and the Canes have 20 minutes to close out the home portion of their regular season schedule. They're only centering attempt. That's out of the reach. Pudia uh, and Carolina now will come up with a turnover. They just face it, and Subin gets across. A blocker save there. His nets off. He's got Natchez, who's going to take advantage out front and couldn't settle it down. And Subban got in front of that as Carolina tried to take advantage of Severson falling to the ice. Now another chance to shot and score. Carolina in. From the circle, Carolina hemmed him in. And Carolina's 22nd of the year makes it 3 0. Rister from Tavo Terabyte and the initial sauce Kuznetsov to Natchez but then the battle level from Kuznetsov coming in as Terabyte and up the wall it goes you keep it in and when you cannot hear a shot which you cannot hear a Rister and typically a pass first guy oftentimes it can be in the back of the net before you even know a shot's been taken if you're truly a huge Kaniac, I don't want to see any Ranger jerseys. That I will say. Second I was going to wait till the end of the first round, and I'm going to mention it again. If you're a true huge Kaniac, there's no none of that blue jersey. Now a chance out in front is Boston of Drury. Close to it the entire game. They just haven't gotten rewarded. I'm sure Rod will talk about these three guys in the post-game show. And you know, when you look at the video and chances created.